Saya Muhammad Peran Barok. Hai, perkenalkan nama saya Irgun Adi Tirangga. Halo, uh, apa kabar? Bye. Siapa namamu? Saya uh, nama saya Abdul Hakim. Uh, berasal dari mana kah kamu? Saya dari Somalia. Your bahasa it's really really nice. I love you to speak in bahasa. I'm working on it. So I'm yeah, so... that's great. Okay. But my next question is, where did you study? Um, I study university in Somalia. Yeah, okay. Uh, Department of International Program for Islamic Economic and Finance. Wow, that's great. So yeah. Yeah. When did you start moving here from Somalia? Um, I arrived in Indonesia 12, on 12 September and I have been here almost um, three months. Oh, see, in the 2022? 22, yeah. Okay, before you came here, what did you imagine about, about Indonesia? Like the food, the people, or something like that? Um, you know, I was imagining like, I'm going to uh, for this most but largest population countries in the world. And then I was um, like thinking about how to build all of that people like um, after that when I arrived here. It was, so uh, it's great, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So great. This is amazing country. So the next question is, what's your first impression about the people of Indonesia? Uh, when I arrived here, I see that the people they was open, friendly, and it was kind of well. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is our culture in Indonesia. Yeah. So what about the food? Um, the food it was the most difficult for me, and I was I was struggling till now. As our food is different and uh, uh, more different, uh, actually, uh, the Indonesian food. Oh, like, so it's really, really different. Yeah, it's really different. Like at the morning you eat nasi, at the uh, yes. lunch you eat the nasi, like, dinner you eat nasi. <laughs> nasi. <laughs> like very, very nasi. Yeah. Like we <laughs> should always eat nasi. When Indonesian people don't eat nasi, they don't say, "Oh, we has been eat." No, like yeah. that. So you should eating nasi so you can say that I have been eating like that. <laughs> so after all of your story, what's your really culture shock that you feel in Indonesia? Um, the first time I came here, yeah. um, I took the train, I came to Tokyo, and the dad, I saw a lot of, not money, a lot of, motorbikes that the people is yeah. but in the country it's so different for that we, most of them they use cars and you never see a person that yeah. using a motorbike as a usual and that's one of the shots that I saw in here also after that when I um, come to the and um, enter the university go to the class I saw that the Boys and girls, they are still in Japan, but in the country is different. They sit, they sit in different sides, but in the sit up, beside up. Okay. Um, on the other hand, for the eating, you can see the most one, a girl, a boy, they hang out together, eating together, but in my country, it's so complicated to see them. 
So the next question is why do you want to study in Jogjakarta? I mean in Indonesia. Um, first of all, as I said, I study international program for Islamic economy and finance. I study economy here. As we know, Indonesia is one of the countries of yeah. uh, 23 countries. Yeah. Um, that's why I came here to take the knowledge of the economy and practice to my country. Yeah. And I hope I will um, study yeah. commitment um, and I will get the knowledge here. After that, I will practice to my country and my country shall like will be one of the 22 countries. Yeah, so, that's great. That's great. So my next question is, uh, how did you adapt to life here, especially uh, in your country and Indonesia is have a different, different weather? Yeah, the weather is different. Um, Indonesia has two seasons, but we have four seasons. Oh yeah. Um, right now, we have a winter. But in here it's rain. Every time it's rain, yeah. rain, rain. So now uh, that uh, it's difficult for me to adapt it. Until now, I'm struggling to adapt it. To adapt the weather in the um, I hope the weather will change and the rain will gone. <laughs> yeah. You know, every time you go outside of the campus, and the day when you try to come back, you uh, you get a the rain is coming. Yeah. And it's yeah. always yeah. raining, right? Yeah. It's raining and that is uh, and the weather is even if it's rain, it's still it's hot. Yes, it's still hot. Yeah. Uh, rain and hot at the same time. Yeah, at the same time. That's why I keep myself under the AC. <laughs> yeah. So uh, next is um, how to adapt with the the language. Um, the language it's still the barrier that I have yeah. is trying yeah. and I'm working on it. Yeah. I hope I will win. So the first time I arrived here, um, when I went to the uh, market, it was difficult <coughs> to ask them the amount, like how much. But right now, Alhamdulillah, I got it. Like, I can say, Berapa. Berapa. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's Berapa. Um, also, the numbers. Like, for example, if I bought something, then I try to ask them how much. Yeah. Then they told me Indonesian number. Like, um, 15,000. Uh, 20,000. 20,000. But right now I said like um, satu dua tiga empat lima. Yeah, that's great. Um, I can count. Yeah. Okay. Next, uh, what about the people? How you can adapt that? Especially they have um, uh, a background with you, like a different culture. So how you adapt with the people? Actually, I can say that it's not difficult for me to adapt. Interact with the people. It's yeah. easy for me. Whatever he or she, yeah. I can um, interact yeah. and adapt it the way that the person. Like every person has it's limited. Yeah. So as I said, the Indonesians are also the open, friendly. They are welcome to you, help to you. Yeah. So it's easy every person that's from another country. Yeah. yeah. My favorite place in Chokcha is Malibu. And also I like the view of the Chokcha. It's always over green. Every place that you see is mostly over green. Uh, and also I like the music in Indonesia is dang net. That's all for me. Thank you so much. I can say Trimakasi.